Hello everyone, so in a previous video I've demonstrated this uh, overtone flute, which is a very simple narrow bore flute, in this case a fiple flute, it sounds like this. Next up we have the hulusi, which is an old Chinese instrument that is a descendant of the bawu, which we will go over later. So this has three reed pipes. These are a special type of free reed, a very old style of free reed. The middle reed pipe sounds like this. But it also has two additional reed pipes. So if we activate this drone, Next up, we have the Bawu, which has the same style of reed, and it is blown into from the sides. So it's a, they're usually larger than your average Hulusi, as you can see, and they sound like this. <laughs> Next up, actually utilizing the same kind of reed, but a slightly different resonator configuration, is this beast of an instrument. This is called a can, and it is played by actually stopping these holes, and it's designed in such a way where when it resonates, it will only resonate when there's a, the correct balance, and it will stay mute, but these, these reeds don't consume a lot of wind. So this is how you can get this array. And right here, uh, they've, I've got a drone, right here I've got a drone pipe set uh, with a piece of this like creosote gum that's used to seal the instrument. It does take a bit of breath. I'm not used, very used to circular breathing at all, so I'm not the like the epitome of this sound. You can go on YouTube and check out a little bit better examples of the playing, but I think it's a cool instrument. This one is quite out of tune compared to concert tuning. It is tunable. They use a little knife and they cut out little uh, nicks right here in the in the in the in the resonating body. Next up we have the Ditsu. This is a Chinese bamboo flute with a vibrating membrane that enhances the tone. The membrane is made out of a sort of like paper-like material that's inside of young bamboo and it's glued on using a sort of donkey skin glue stick. Kind of an old school glue stick that's activated with water. It's kind of neat. Um, let me just moisten the membrane here and here's how it sounds. And of course here here's another Dietze, but I've instead of putting the bamboo membrane on I put a piece of uh, heavy scotch tape on here and this essentially makes it a normal bamboo flute just for tonal comparison. As you can see it's much more mellow. The Dietze has a bright kind of singing sound to it because of that little vibrating membrane. 
So next up, we have a big flute called a shoe, and it's got slight, a few more holes than the previous one. This is an eight hole shoe, and some people call it a shall. This one breaks into three sections, uh, and you, know, you can also twist and turn as you wish. It is an end blown flute, and it's got a little notch. So instead of being transverse like the Dietze, you play it vertically. Some people call it a vertical flute. This one has no uh, vibrating membrane, so it is a, it is more of a classical bamboo flute. And here's how it sounds. Well, I hope you like this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and definitely don't forget to hit that bell. Until next time, thanks for watching.